Chapter 1 Gallery When you open Procreate, you first see the gallery. There are four pieces of art already in the gallery. Tap on them and see what incredible art you can make with Procreate. To return to the gallery, tap on the word title in the upper left corner of the screen. In the upper right corner, you see four buttons. Select, Import, Photo, and a plus sign. Select. When you press on Select, a blue line appears and under each artwork, you see a small circle. When you tap on the thumbnails, you can select multiple artworks. The little circles under each artwork turn blue, with a V inside, indicating that they are selected. When you want to deselect an artwork, press on it again. When you have selected multiple artworks, you have four options. Stack, Share, Duplicate and Delete. Stack. When you press on Stack, the four artworks are combined in one folder called Stack. To return to the main gallery, press on X in the upper right corner. Share. Press on Select again and select the stack you've just created. Now you have three options, Share, Duplicate and Delete. When you press on Share, you'll see a new window with Cannot Share This Artwork. You need to first open an artwork so that you can share it. This only applies to the default artworks that are in Procreate. In order to share these artworks, you first need to open them one by one. Tap on the stack and then on the first thumbnail. You have opened the artwork and you can now draw on it. When you want to go back to the gallery, press on Gallery in the upper left corner. Press on all the other artworks to open them up and press on Gallery to return to the stack. Repeat these steps for all the artworks that are in the stack. Press on the title of the stack to return to the main gallery. Press on select again. Then press on the stack. When you now press the share button in the upper right corner, you will see a drop down menu called image format. Now you have six options to share your artwork. Procreate. Procreate is the work file of Procreate 4. When you share your artwork in this file format, you will save the layers and time-lapse recordings of your artwork. This is great if you want to back up your files and work on them later. PSD PSD is a Photoshop extension. All the layers that you've created in your artwork will be saved in separate layers. And you can open it up in Photoshop or any other photo app. PDF PDF is a portable document format that's used for print or share your work and can be opened on all computers. When you press on PDF you get a new window called PDF Options. Choose one of these options. Good quality creates the lowest quality and best quality the best quality of your artworks. Press on export to export your PDF. You'll see a pop-up menu with all the share options. On top you can share your PDF through AirDrop and share it with all your connected Apple products like your Mac, MacBook, iPhone or other iPad. In the second section you can share the PDF by message, mail, add to notes, copy to Dropbox, copy to iBooks, copy to iTunes and the More button. When you press on the More button you see a new pop-up window. Here you can add other cloud services to your share options. If you have Dropbox or another cloud service on your iPad you can now add it to the share list. Toggle it on. You can also rearrange the order of the list by pressing on the right of the section and drag the section up or down. Press on Done to return to the share screen. In the third section you can copy the PDF to your clipboard to open it in another app. 
Press on Print to print your PDF through Wi-Fi. Save to Dropbox to save the PDF to Dropbox. Save to Files to save the PDF to a file on your iPad. Save to iTunes to save it to your iTunes library. With the Send To button, you can add your PDF to a folder on your iPad or cloud service by first selecting the folder and then pressing on Add in the upper right corner. You've now created a PDF with multiple pages. JPEG JPEG is a lossless file format that compresses your artwork. Press Save Image to save all the artworks in your stack at once. You'll see a pop-up menu with the text Procreate would like to add to your photos. Add image to your photo library. Tap on OK to allow Procreate access to the photo library on your iPad. You only have to allow this once. PNG. Press on the stack and then on Select. Select one artwork and tap on Share. Now choose PNG and tap on Save to Files. Choose the folder on My iPad and then select Procreate and press on Add in the upper right corner. Your artwork is now saved to the Procreate folder on your iPad. PNG is a great format to save your files as. You can also share a PNG with an alpha channel, so the artwork does not have a background. TIFF Go back to the stack again and select another artwork. Tap on Share and select TIFF. Now select iCloud Sharing. You'll see a pop-up menu from your iCloud. First name your shared album. Name it Procreate Artwork and tap on Next. Then select to whom you want to send your artwork. Tap on the plus icon to select an email address from your contacts. Then press Create. You now can type in some text in the mail and press on Post to send it. TIFF is a great file for print. Duplicate. When you have selected one or more artworks and press on Duplicate, the artworks are duplicated. Delete. When you select one or more artworks and press on Delete, a new window pops up. Press on Cancel to cancel your delete action. Press on Delete to delete the selected artworks. When you have deleted your artworks, you cannot retrieve them. Press on the X in the upper right corner to return to the gallery. When you are in the Procreate gallery, you can tap on the second option. Import. This will take you to the file browser of your iPad. You can import a file into Procreate from several locations, from iCloud Drive and from recently deleted files. When you tap on On My iPad, you'll see all the apps you can import your file from. In iOS 11, you can find all the files that you have saved in the apps you work with. You can also add other cloud services to the iPad file system like Dropbox. Tap on On My iPad and select the Procreate folder. Tap on the artwork that you have saved to import it into Procreate. A new file is opened and you can start working on the image. You can also import an image from iCloud Drive or any other cloud service you've installed on your iPad. Photo Tap on Photo to import an image from the photo library on your iPad. Select a picture and it will be imported into Procreate. A new file opens and you can start working on the image. Plus Tap on the plus sign to create your own canvas. You see a drop down menu with six default sizes. Screen size. This is the size of your iPad you work on. 
clipboard. This is the size of the file you have pasted to the clipboard on your iPad. If you haven't copied anything to your clipboard, the file size is empty. Square. This is a square at 2048 pixels by 2048 pixels. 4K. This is a canvas with the dimensions 4096 pixels by 1714 pixels. A4. This is a canvas with the dimensions 210 millimeters by 297 millimeters at 300 dpi. You can use this as a print canvas for the A4 paper. 4 by 6 photo. This is a canvas with the dimensions 6 inches by 4 inches or 1800 pixels by 1200 pixels at 300 dpi. Create custom size. When you tap on create custom size, a new window will open. On top you can enter the values for the width and height, the dpi and the color gamut. You can also name your canvas by tapping on Untitled. In the lower part of the screen, you first see the maximum layers that are on your canvas. You can choose the metric you want to use on the left. You can choose millimeters, centimeters, inches and pixels. By default, pixels are selected. Type in the size you want to draw in and the DPI of your canvas. Then select your color gamut. You can choose between P3 wide color. This is the widest color range you can work in and is new to Procreate 4. You can also choose sRGB. This is the default color gamut. If you make any mistakes or typos or want to change your numbers, tap on Backspace. Tap on Next to go to the next field. You can name your canvas by tapping on Untitled. Then tap on Done or Create and you have created your custom canvas and you can start drawing and painting. Want to learn everything about Procreate 4.3? Then get the Procreate 4 video manual on Apple Books or Vimeo On Demand. For only $4.99. Learn all the features in Procreate 4.3 with over 2 hours of video tutorials. The links are in the description below this video.